also a race tonight for any kind of treatment that works. And the drug already being used, could it hold promise? Tonight, one patient saying he showed immediate improvement. He'd been on oxygen. And after so much talk about another drug, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine, that study halted in Brazil. And so we asked Dr. Anthony Fauci, where does the U.S. stand on this right now? Here's Alex Perez. Tonight, a new media report says doctors at the University of Chicago are hopeful that a drug once tested for Ebola shows promise for rapid recovery in some COVID-19 patients. Slaomir Mikalak says he's one of them. He was hospitalized with severe pain, high fever, and put on oxygen when doctors gave him the drug. Then I, my body started to recover. I had no more high fever, and then uh, from the day one, I, I didn't have any, didn't get any more medicine to reduce my temperature. He was home recovering in just four days. Nearly all of the 113 patients with severe symptoms were reportedly given remdesivir and have since been taken off ventilators or discharged. Two of the patients have died. Researchers urging caution, saying the report offers a small snapshot of a wider study involving more than 100 locations and shouldn't be used to draw conclusions. The drug, just one of at least 30 in clinical trials, including hydroxychloroquine, Quinn, often touted by the president. I think it could be something really incredible. But there are concerns about hydroxychloroquine's safety. A study in Brazil halted after signs of adverse effects on the heart. Here in the U.S., studies underway. David pressing Dr. Anthony Fauci on where the trials stand. You had said weeks back that there was no uh, scientific proof that this, in fact, was working. It's a drug mentioned by the president uh, often in, in recent weeks. Where do we stand on that right now? Well, there are still no clinical trials that definitively show it works or does not work. There are a number of clinical trials that are ongoing, and hopefully we'll get an answer to this question that's very much on the mind of a lot of people. And, David, officials here say what we're seeing on remdesivir is only partial data. The trial is not yet complete, so they say it's simply too soon to draw any conclusions. David? Providing some hope, but as you say, more study is needed. Alex, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.